Have you ever wondered about the might of the ancient Assyrian Empire? Emerging in the 24th century BCE, the Assyrian Empire stands as a testament to the heights of ancient civilization, renowned for its military prowess and administrative innovations. This empire began as a city-state in 2025 BC under Puzur Asher I, until it rose to become strong empire under Asher Obalit then in the early 14th century BC. The Assyrians were trailblazers in warfare, being among the first to fully utilize iron weaponry. This gave them a significant advantage over their opponents, who primarily used bronze. Imagine the impact of iron swords, spears and arrowheads on a battlefield dominated by bronze. They didn't stop there. The Assyrians also pioneered sophisticated siege tactics, employing massive battering rams, siege towers and tunneling techniques. These innovations allowed them to conquer heavily fortified cities and rapidly expand their empire, reaching from Anatolia to Egypt. But their mastery didn't stop with warfare. The Assyrians revolutionized governance, dividing their vast empire into provinces for efficient administration. But the Assyrians weren't just warriors, they were also skilled administrators and artisans. A key factor of the Assyrian Empire's longevity was its administrative prowess. The empire was neatly divided into provinces, each under the control of a governor or viceroy, hand-picked by the Assyrian king. These individuals held significant responsibilities from tax collection to maintaining peace and order, and even implementing justice within their respective provinces. This system of governance enabled the rapid mobilization of troops and effective management of resources, contributing to the empire's stability and prolonged existence. In addition to their administrative acumen, the Assyrians were also masters of architecture and art. Their capital cities such as Nineveh, Nimrud and Khorsabad were adorned with grand palaces and temples, a testament to their architectural prowess. These monumental structures bore intricate bas-reliefs that depicted scenes from royal life, religious rituals and military conquests, offering us a fascinating glimpse into Assyrian art, culture and society. The Assyrians were also innovators in the realm of communication. They used an intricate system of writing known as cuneiform, which was used to document everything from administrative records and religious texts to epic tales like the famous Epic of Gilgamesh. This system of writing not only facilitated the functioning of the empire but also played a significant role in shaping the development of subsequent civilizations in the ancient Near East. Despite their reputation for military might, the Assyrians were far more than just a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Their administrative, architectural and cultural accomplishments were equally, if not more, impactful. Through their grand architectural structures, intricate bas-reliefs and innovative writing system, they contributed significantly to the art, literature and governance of the ancient world. The Assyrians left an indelible mark on the ancient world, influencing the development of art, literature and governance. Their legacy continues to inspire and inform our understanding of the ancient Near East, reminding us that the Assyrian Empire was an extraordinary blend of military might, administrative genius and cultural sophistication. Religion played a central role in Assyrian society, but even divine favor couldn't save the empire from its eventual downfall. The Assyrians held a deep reverence for their pantheon of deities, with Asher, the god of war and kingship, standing as their chief deity. This divine devotion permeated every facet of life, influencing politics, governance, culture and even warfare. The king was believed to rule by divine right, giving him unquestionable authority and fostering a sense of unity among the Assyrians. This religious adherence reinforced their allegiance to the king and the empire, providing a spiritual backbone to their societal structure. However, as the pages of history turned towards the 7th century BCE, the Assyrians found themselves in the throes of internal strife and external pressures. The empire, once a symbol of military might and administrative brilliance, was beginning to crumble. Revolts and rebellions sprouted like wildfire among the subject peoples and vassal states, weakening the empire's once iron grip on its territories. Simultaneously, the Assyrian Empire was facing external threats from burgeoning powers. The Babylonians, Medes and Persians, once mere blips on the Assyrian radar, were now formidable opponents, further destabilizing the empire. The Assyrian Empire, which had once stood as a beacon of power and stability in the ancient world, 
was now teetering on the edge of collapse. And then, in the year 612 BCE, the unthinkable happened. The combined forces of the Babylonians and the Medes laid siege to Nineveh, the Assyrian capital. The city, once a symbol of Assyrian grandeur, was sacked, marking an end to the Assyrian Empire. This monumental event marked a seismic shift in the landscape of the ancient Near East, paving the way for new civilizations to rise from the ashes of the fallen empire. The fall of Nineveh with Ashurbanipal as the last ruler in 612 BCE marked the end of the Assyrian Empire, but the legacy of this ancient civilization continues to shape our understanding of the ancient Near East. Subscribe for more nuggets from the annals of history.